All right, the first story we'll get now about NCC, will be the Nigerian Communications Commission. They don't come outside, um, don't they grant one particular network provider the upper hand in terms of this case, we consign them, um, we see, we, another um, network provider they actually owe. Now, they don't grant Airtel Networks Limited approval to partially disconnect Globalcom from its network. Now, the regulatory agency talks to this approval. Now, because of Globalcom's failure to settle intercon interconnect BC. Now, this, this partial disconnection, it go means say, it go they impossible for Globalcom subscribers to make calls to Airtel network um, users. And uh, that one means say, Globalcom subscribers, they no go fee make call, no go fee call Airtel network <coughs> users. But they fit to receive calls from people where they use Airtel. Now, details of this decision, it be sure say the disconnection is supposed to take effect from October 28, um, which is a few days from now, exactly 10 days from them, um, exactly eight days from today, I beg your pardon. Now, remember, say, when we carry this digitally in the year, MTM become outside accuse Global Como, say them, self, no, we pay up the interconnected BC, and they be threatened to disconnect Glow subscribers. And this one make NCC contract mount on top this one will be shelling. Now, based on the matter where they share it now for inside the industry, and telecoms operator, when they want to settle the IGBC, they will go through NCC's licensed cleaning houses. He said, now for NCC, now NCC will come distribute the money to the provider we actually get them. Uh, based on the statement where NCC's director of public affairs, Mr. Henry, uh, he came out to become a side Yian. In common side talks, say, Glow Mobile, oh, then we let them know of the application, and then we give them opportunity to come outside to talk and state their case. But so far, so good. It'd be like say they don't get enough reason why they don't pay the interconnect charges. So therefore, according to the section, um, according to section 100 of Nigerian Communication Act of 2003, and the guidelines and procedure for granting approval to disconnect telecommunications operator, he said it has been given. That means that the power they don't put on top of the hand of their network. So they made their come out they are interconnected uh, services where they give. May they come out and from Globalcom so that Globalcom users, if they like me, then dial it from that to next day from inside their phone. May they carry the phone go in the spiritual house. They say they no go fit to call Etel Network, but they fit to receive calls from um, Etel users. Now, so they come outside talk. Now, what they said, they say, you would wonder whether the Nigerian Communications Commission, they there, they actually established this commission in the interest of the Nigerian people or in the interest of certain stakeholders? Certain, certain stakeholders in the communica in communication field. Now, you go ask me the reason why they talk. So people don't come outside talk, say, yes, we understand, say, some kind of get there between Globalcom and Airtel. But why don't we look for a way to settle it so that we, the Nigerian people, where they do business, will not go suffer them? Now, imagine if me, I get Glow and you get Airtel. Now, only you fit call me. I not fit call you. Mm. Now, you a business person. Imagine, say, we get some kind of transaction to do and me, I need to deliver. I not fit call you. Now, only you fit actually call me. It will actually affect a lot of people where it get um, that particular network. Okay. So they don't even consider that one on the um, impact of um, this particular um, grant where they don't put on grant. They never consider them. Um, rather, now the kind begin with they between these two networks, now they just they took inside, the interconnect, the connect, and everything. But well, like you said, it's this business. Oh, it's business. And in business, uh, you need to take certain decisions oh, and certain yes, actions. Oh, you should take it. You Ooh, don't it's get possible, it. Say, it's possible. I don't know if you talk on behalf of any of the stakeholders with involved. But before any decision they, before any decision is taken, they should have sat down. They should have checked all the preambles. They for suppose don't do all the preambles to and check the consequences. And information to Nigerian The consequences people. of all of From this. Oh, this money we're talking about is not small money. It is not small. We know. You know, get I know it's not be small money. So how I else they suppose how else they supposed to collect this money back? No, wait. My own be say you suppose give sit down talk with these people. This if you don't do one, you don't get. If you don't do one, make you release information to the Nigerian public. Let them know. Say this now, what they happen? No, this now the kind this thing. Sanction won't go put on ground. Yesterday you talk about say how they could just make decision just like that. Give give or take. How many days remain for them to make the eight decision? Days, eight precise. days. Less than eight days. Today is twenty two now. Mm. Less than eight days. We actually get about six oh, days. Oh, 28 or so six days. Yes, six days remaining. 
So we never even hear any word, any statement where NCC don't have actually released, say, come on, this is not the money where they owe. Because of this, we don't grant it, um, a global come the permission, and we don't grant it uh, the permission. But, but not forget to say, this kind of threat be also happened earlier in the year when MTN be threatened to disconnect. MTN. But now, look, you know what happened? You know, at the end of the day, they settled it. Even though they come outside, tell us what happened. At the end Who of the day, they make sure now, say... MTN, now, the network providers, now I tell you, I just they talk saying the interest of the federal government, they need to they also communicate with the Nigerian people before some things will go cause us a lot of pain happen okay. in less than six days now you will get etl uh, number now only you go the cover we get glow the glow person not go fit call you so no vex if they not call you now because of this particular one way they on ground so with the experts say even though say they don't grant this permission but they still chook and inside them chook leg everything inside them we still get six more days for them to come to a decision because mm -hmm. like the nigeria people nigeria people now go suffer this money, so mm. not they enter our economy. Mm. If they enter this telecommunication, they are self. If they enter NCC and whatever. So, you know, they enter our, you know, they translate into a better life for the Nigerian people. So, mm. we they sit down and talk. We get six days. Anything can be done. It's anything can happen between now and the end of today. But on the lighter note, if I be your boyfriend and you be my girlfriend, if I they use Global Comedy, me say, you as a girlfriend, you always have to call me. I don't have <laughs> to spend so much you. calling you. I mean, the guy will just have to relax and feel free. And it's not good because what uh, if something happens some to you? Uh, we, it's what if something happens to you and you want to call now only your boyfriend now you How many girlfriends they call the boyfriend where the boyfriend they call I girlfriend? I say, what if something happens to you? Nothing go happen. So Why must it go to six days? How you go to January? Can, since January saying. till October, now something must happen. My sister, may that you can inside of my bag. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.